there. We talked in um, in the summer. Was it, is it Taros? The uh, Taros offering. Oh, yeah. I love. I love this. So you. <laughs> yeah. So Taros is this Persian thing about offering. You go, no, you please sit down. No, you please sit down. No, we'll pay. No, 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 we must pay. Essentially, it's this back and forth that can just go on for the best part of ten minutes. People Tarofing or offering, and it's it's hilarious to watch, especially if you're not from that culture. It's actually quite kind of scary. <laughs> So yeah, there's lots of taro. But it doesn't wash in there. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Like even with me, I'm like, yeah, let's, let's put, put past that. Let's just get to business. How much am I paying? <laughs> okay, so back to the chicken. Okay, best way to see if your meat has cooked now, whether you're having chicken, whether you're using fish, whether you're using the red meat, is your fingers are the best gauge ever, okay? Now, when I'm pushing down with my two fingers, I'm not getting too much bounce. If you're getting quite a lot of bounce, then that tells you it's raw on the inside, because what happens when meat cooks, the proteins toughen, okay? So great if you've got white meat, you just want a little bit of food, just a little bit, because when you take it off, it's still gonna be cooking. This thing that chefs always tell you to have food, let it rest, it's a really good idea, because it just allows all the juices to go back. Then when you cut it, it's not going to bleed everywhere because that puts a lot of people off, doesn't it? Not me, quite crazy, but some carnivorous vampire type of chick that I am. Okay? All right, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put that here. Okay, now, so, we're going to build this. We've got this beautiful dishes here. Mm. Is that in my honour? They're all pins, yeah. Pins right, you. Good job. Fantastic. Okay, so got your wraps ready. Now these are just the ready wraps that you have in supermarkets, okay? They are wheat, flour, tortillas. You can get anything flatbread, anything you want. I think a famous bread company, they even have these flat wraps now that look remarkably like Middle Eastern bread. So use whatever bread you want to use. Just make sure it's something thin so you can roll it up, okay? Now, I'm so tempted to wait five minutes to let this rest, but obviously uh, we've been like swimming our thumbs for that period. Okay, so, got your yoghurt sauce, which you're just going to drizzle over it. I've got this, um, I've got a rocket over there, sorry, I'm just going to reach over here. Now, I'm not, I love lettuce, but I don't know about you, I think soggy lettuce leaves have no business in a sandwich, because they tend to get all wilted and don't really do much to contribute flavour. But whereas rocket seems to hold its shape a little bit longer and it has a nice peppery bite. So I like to use rocket, you can use whatever you like. Okay, get your wrap down, slice up your chicken. Slice them, I like to slice them really thinly so that you get like a little bit everywhere in every bite for a mouthful. And I would say quite comfortably, one large chicken breast will do two, two quite sizable wraps. Cooked perfectly. See what happens when you flatten that chicken breast out. There's no drama whatsoever. Okay. While you're doing that, tell us about pop-ups because um, you've had great fun with pop-ups. I have. I have. Do you guys know what pop-ups are? Oh, yeah. I'm glad. That's good. That's good. So um, I love doing pop-ups with different chefs. Uh, I did some great ones last year, and I've got one with. Hopefully, with somebody who's been on stage today, but I can't say who. Really? Come on, if, if, <laughs> no. if you tell us, well, will you keep it a secret? Sure. Oh, no. I can't. Oh. Well, look, tell us about the um, Passage to Persia one with uh, one of my favourite chefs, uh, Anna Hansen of the Modern Pantry. Oh, I love Anna. Um, she is brilliant. She is. Uh, so, Modern Pantry is a great restaurant in London that does, it really does food, food from all around the world, but without compromising inequality. And um, she is so sweet, and I wanted to do a pop-up where I got to have lots of different chefs come and cook Persian food. And like some of these like Michelin star chefs, and French, and we had a Spanish, and you know, English, and it was really, really You got Alexis Gautier, didn't you? How yeah, did you get I did. Do you know what? Incredible. I don't know with the sheer stupidity on my part. I think it is. You know if you ask something, you're like, I can't believe I just did that. And then somebody says, yes, even worse, you're like, oh, or ben, ben Spalding, who was heading at Rogan yeah, at the ben time. Yeah, Ben Spalding, um, Alexis Gautier, and Omar Alibouli from the Chapter Revolution. We love Omar yeah. Alibouli. Yeah. Who's, who's familiar with Omar Alibouli? He's, he's a good, he Gordon Ramsay show yeah. for a long time. For, he, he did, he was, they called him the Antonio Banderas. He's brilliant. Yeah, he's a sweetie. And he rocks a good beard and good hair. Yeah, he does. He's a little teddy bear. 
Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. And, uh, I go to the cab with my boyfriend, George. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and he won, of course, uh, at Total London with us when we were doing the, yeah. the, the Weather 